Kuzangpo and welcome to this program. In this program, we are going to discuss about uh, a research that uh, was carried out by a group of youth and to discuss on this uh, particular research and the overall research work that uh, the youth uh, they have done. I have uh, with me here in our studio, Purba Sonam Waiba, then I have uh, Yang Chen Lamo, then I have Denzin Chauvel. Welcome to this show or this program. First of all, I would like to ask uh, Purba Sonam here, who was uh, the main in this uh, research. What was your research and why did you do this uh, particular research that, uh, that got published by Bhutan Journal of Research and Development of uh, RUB? Uh, if you can tell us about it. Yes, thank you, sir. So basically, the research was about a plant extract and then we tried to find a biocontrol uh, biopesticide like thing in that plant so i tried to see the res uh, other researches being published and then i found that it would be nice if i could try on a plant that is available in my place that is in shirabzi college so upon doing uh, extensive literature and then trying uh, reading thorough other publications so i found that it would be nice if i can carry out so we tried on uh, evaluating the efficacy of system nocturnum a plant leaf extract on selected species of pathogenic and uh, disease causing insect vectors and parasites. So the result was quite nice and then it was successful that the results could prove that the mortality rates in the uh, insect vectors like teak, mosquito and bed, bed bugs were uh, very high mortality rates and then it could be a very uh, good natural strategy to control this pathogenic insect vectors. Okay, when we say research, usually research is being done by like uh, scholars who go abroad for doing or uh, uh, continuing their studies or getting a degree, <coughs> especially master's degree abroad, where it is required to to research as a, a fulfillment yes. of your master's degree or partial fulfill, fulfillment in some yes. cases. What make you? What made you do this uh, research when you were in your college as a student? Well, basically. Uh, in the college, uh, what we tend to think is that we, we, we are free and then we do not have any kind of assignments and like that thing, sir. And then another thing is in the colleges, uh, when a student is very much inclined to research and publications and all, the teachers and the lecturers, they, they, they try to see us in the different angle like that of a very diligent and uh, intelligent and very resourceful guy. And then we also get benefited in our markings. So therefore, I felt that why should uh, why not I try on a research? So that instigated me to go on with the research. And also, I had some issues with the insect, uh, the disease causing vectors and parasites. So I found that if I could try on a natural strategy, because Vision 2020 states finding natural strategies. So I tried to. I felt that we should try to combat the, uh, the in, uh, this uh, synthetic use of chemicals and other the fertilizers and pesticides so maybe she has okay whatever young chin what made you like uh, join fuva to carry on this uh, research when you were in your college thank you so much sir and thank you so much uh, to the vvs for giving us this opportunity uh, basically it is like we had this free time sir uh, we ha we have got enough time to do other works as well so having those time, we thought, why not do something extraordinary while we are in the colleges? Uh, to do something which nobody did, no, nobody is doing. Uh, usually what we tend to do is in the colleges, we tend to waste our time uh, watching movies and then, you know, talking, gossiping, everything. But then we thought, like, why don't we do something we would benefit ourselves as well as others in the future? So thinking that this and then... Uh, Purpa Sonam has been always an inspiration for me. So I talked to him. If he's having any plans of doing such kind of research, then I would like to join him. So um, at one point he talked to me like he's having this kind of plans of doing research on this particular plant. So I instantly said, okay, let's do it. So that's how we got into this research. Sir. Okay, what about Tenzin? Since mm. you were also part of this uh, yes, research sir. group that uh, you were when you were in Sharapsa College. But what was your experience like 
doing a piece of research? Now, firstly, we come from same academic academic background. We studied PhD life science, okay. whereby we have well, basically we have to deal with physiology and metabolism of plant and animal. So, as Sir said, we have project works as a requirement in our course. We have to do project works, and that project work helped me understand the meaning of research. Research it brings life to the what is there in the textbook and it gives us hands-on experiences in our field and that that made me uh, that made that made me do research with Furosono Moiba and he he always promote me here okay, please carry on. I'll start again okay, uh, okay then what made you like join this group uh, to do a research, carry on research while you were in Sharapsa College. And what was your experience? Thank you, sir. Uh, firstly, we come from same academic background. And we studied BSc Life Science, which mainly deals with the physiology and metabolism of plants and animals, and whereby we get project works based on the topics we study. And the research that Purvasana Moiba wanted to do was uh, based on our subject. So it gave me life, what was there in the textbook, sir. So it also, in addition to what uh, the research was all about, it also gave me an experience, hand-on experience in our field. And that made me do research with him. And the experience, like uh, research is all about iterative, sir. We have to do time and again, repeat the procedure until we get the result. So research made me uh, have some passion, mm -hmm. learn more, understand more, and it made me uh, understand that we should not never give up. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, again, back to Purva Sonam here. Why do you think research is important? <coughs> At this age and time, <coughs> we, we are required to have uh, something statistical and uh, data to prove something. So whatever we say, actually, we need uh, data and stati statistical evidence. So I felt Doing a research would make me aware of what the things are around us. And then whenever I speak and whenever I talk to anyone, so I would have a very good background knowledge of whatever I say. And then that is one of the main the purposes of going with the research. And another thing is, I have a big dream. <laughs> Basically, I feel like I should pursue my high studies, as I uh, said. So in order to get high studies, and we are basically required to have a very good research background. So therefore, I felt going with the research would be a wonderful experience, and it did. Okay, so it was always good to start yeah. when you were as a student yeah. in college. <coughs> but uh, when we do research, it involves uh, whatever we do in life. It involves uh, money. Where did you get this fund to do research? Did you require or did you approach somebody for funding to fund this uh, piece of research? Um, as far as I am concerned and my friends, uh, they, they were very resourceful and they helped me uh, do with this research. Maybe <coughs> something to do with uh, sometimes tea, share tea and then okay. uh, maybe transportation fees we shared among ourselves. And frankly speaking, we did not uh, avail or trying to okay. get search for funds because as a youth, I feel like most of the people around and the agencies around do not believe in youth. So I okay. now I would comfortably say that this is the time we have to believe in youth and see the fire in youth. Because whatever we have, we are the, at this age, people have very different innovative ideas. So therefore, finding a prop, uh, fund, funding agency and the fund was next to impossible for us. So we basically continued with the limited resources we had and then the things were okay so but uh, some of the hurdles and bad experiences during the research uh, we'll come fun. back to that uh, the challenges uh, so, okay uh, if uh, young chin could yes. add on the first question so why is research important mm -hmm. i think it is very important at this stage like at this time of at this time because we are facing lots of time lots of problems with time uh, we change in time so in order to solve this problem, firstly, we have to understand what are the issues, what are the problems. And then we have to study <coughs> the cause. Why is this problem happening? Why is this issue occurring? 
after then, only then studying these issues, then we can have a solution for this. So in order to study the problem, find an issue, uh, study the cause, and then we can have a proper solution for this. For example, we can see an a, a unemployment problem here okay. in Bhutan, the current issue. So we can study why is this problem happening? Why is there an unemployment issue? Are we really having this issue? Maybe because of the mismatch of the job there and then the uh, degree that a student holds and the study background. Or is it because the uh, uh, preferences of the students over white and a blue color job. So after studying this, after studying this kind of issues, then we can, you know, have a solution for this. Maybe because if it is because of the mismatch, we can really go and change the curriculums or so on. <coughs> uh, so on. Or if it is because of the preferences over white and blue color job, then we can uh, change the mindset of the youth. We have to inculcate the values from to, to the students from the uh, grassroots, grassroots level. So in order to solve the problems, I think research is very important sir, at this stage. So you get to do uh, anything. You find a yes, solution sir. by doing Proper research. Proper solution okay. to have an authentic uh, solution. Sir. So what you are saying is uh, there is uh, this youth uh, unemployment yes, issues. Sir. So if somebody does research and yes, find sir. a solution, it would be yes, good. In short, okay. uh, in short, we are better equipped with uh, to understand the pertinent issues that we have in our current society, okay. sir. But uh, like you Sonoma was saying, with the limited resources that you had, you could carry on this uh, research. But uh, when you say resources, what were some of the resources or what was involved in the, doing this research? What did you need at that time? Uh, we actually, we did not have any kind of survey and then all. We were basically inclined to laboratory okay. works. But then the equipments were missing and then we tried to uh, ask to the college and then the, they provided. But the timing of the laboratory was a problem. Okay. We were asked to be in the laboratory and work for maybe two to three hours, maybe up to six, seven at the, in the evening. So we were chased out. So they, that's, that, that's how we actually prolonged our research. Okay. So therefore I thought and consulted with my team and we decided to shift our lab because it was not very much conducive and, and uh, okay. uh, it was not comfortable for us to carry out there. So we asked our uh, provost to give a, a small hut, like uh, there is a small hut near my Where hostel. You yeah. experiment and do So research. we fixed line and then pipe and all the, uh, arranged all the equipments and then we could comfortably do there and that is how we did so. So from that uh, you could manage. Yeah. Okay. We had our own mini lab. <laughs> okay. For the benefit of other young people who might want to do research, actually, when you do research, what, what involves there? What is the procedure? How do you start um, for this research yes. to be published? <coughs> <coughs> what did you have to do? Approach uh, people and all to um, get this yes, published. Sir. Basically, there are different various uh, publication publishers, and uh, we can find publishers, but the but whatever we have in our research should be aligned to the guidelines they provide. And there are uh, Bhutan Ecological Society, Bhutan Journal of Research and Development, and forgot to thank Bhutan, Bhutan Journal of Research and Development. Uh, they were very uh, nice and wonderful. They really moved us. Okay, they so supported. Thanks to yes, sir. Yeah, so likewise, there are many uh, publication centers and publishers. So all we need to do is align our uh, research paper with their guidelines and submit to them. And then they review in a circle. They have a blind peer review committee where they rotate around themselves and correspond uh, to us. So we edit and time and again we do it and finally it gets okay. nice But uh, as you carried on when you were doing this research, did you have uh, any supervisors or somebody who could guide you or yeah, mentor you? Uh, we should have basically as a youth and uh, starter uh, straight away starting with research would be a uh, wild goose chase. Okay. So yeah. maybe we should seek help and assistance from professors. I, we basically sought help from Professor Sadruddin and thanks to him and mm -hmm. Ma'am Kezang Dechen, she also helped us. So we actually chose them in such a way that they were very expert in this field. <laughs> so they suggested and helped us a lot and 
uh, they also try to manage uh, the the methodology and the the layout of our research. So we really did sort help from the assistance. And how long did this research take uh, so from the start? Uh, uh, before I jump to that question, in addition to what Professor Moiva said, that uh, we also we should also maintain a diary, a small diary, sir, to motivate our, ourselves, sir, that why we are doing a research. We should inspire ourselves because, like uh, as I said earlier, that research is like doing a very repeated thing. It is a very imperative, uh, imperative one. So, uh, at times we don't get the result what we expect. We get uh, disappointed, dis uh, disheartened. So at that time you go back what you have written, you read, and you get motivated. We have to push ourselves, and then we can have a very concrete outcome, sir. So that in a way we can help ourselves, sir. Okay, you need to keep a long yes. book on Small a day to day yes, affairs of your like a progress. But uh, how long did this take? If Yang Chun can tell us this uh, particular research from the start to getting it published and getting it recognized by RUB in the Bhutan Journal of Research and Development paper. It almost took us uh, more than a year, sir. Uh, basically, to do manually uh, the researches, uh, manually to do research, uh, the works, it took almost a month or so. Lab the lab and works could be completed within those uh, few months. But then to get published, we have to do re uh, <coughs> revision. Uh, we have to review our work time and again. So in order to get published, we have, we, uh, we need more time during reviewing our work time and again. So we need more time uh, during this <coughs> review, sir. More than so 20 to 25 times, I think, we have yes, actually exchanged our mails and edited them. For editing yes. and yes. making corrections. Yes. So it, so. Editing and reviewing and rewriting takes more time than doing the manual work. Yes. So after doing all this, uh, did you have a day or time where you had to present it or defend your research? Mm. Were there any panels? Did you make a presentation of? Uh, no, sir. Uh, actually, I'm thinking of trying out for a presentation in Bhutan Ecological Society. Okay. And uh, before we, uh, recently it got published. So as of now, we <coughs> did not find any uh, seminar or a forum to uh, present this research works. I hope uh, there will be a platform where you can talk about this uh, research and make a presentation on your findings. Mm -hmm. I hope so. But uh, what was the feeling like when this was <coughs> finally <coughs> done and got published? We felt well. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it was a, it was yeah, it a was big achievement new. for us. Uh, we really did not feel uh, that it would get published and okay. would be recognized by BJRD. But then after getting published, we were very much inspired and maybe we have the fire to move on. Okay. We will move on. Yes. Among youth uh, research yeah. is like uh, Research comes with money and expenses, sir. but in our cases, uh, we had a very limited equipment, resources, uh, and we could do. So that made us feel that, yes, if stone polished can sparkle like diamonds, sir. Okay, but uh, getting it published uh, by BJRD, that calls for a celebration. But uh, was there a time, but uh, did you receive any feedback from somebody who read or went through your research yeah, yes sir uh, there were it as i said earlier it ran through a rigorous recommendation and suggestions from various scholars and then it was in fact very nice of them that they could each word by word and sentence by sentence they corrected and recommended it so it was a nice experience and they did suggested us uh, recommendation feedbacks now that uh, this uh, group you were a group of five or six people yes. involved in this research. It got published, you finished it. But uh, are you thinking of uh, carrying on other research mm. henceforth in any field? Um, are you planning or are you thinking? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the research that we did is a scientific research. Sir. If given an opportunity, if we had time, we would like to work in the same group with the same team, because we have the strongest team spirit, sir. Because of that, the uh, research got published. And uh, if not, uh, I'm 
uh, into a teaching profession, sir, okay. now. So we also have an area there, sir, known as not basically scientific research, but we can go on with uh, action research there. How to improve the teaching strategies for myself and how to improve uh, the, uh, the learning strategies of my students. So I can work on those kinds of things. Sir. We also have a research area in teaching profession. So I'm thinking because of this, I got this positive energy. So I'm thinking that I'll move on with the researches. So for Yang Ching, she is going to be a teacher. She has already done her PG yes, from some sea, like College of Education yeah. now, that you want to do research yes, in sir. teaching, learning, or in education. But uh, what about uh, Prabhu Sonam now, who is an employment officer, the Ministry of Labor and Human Resources? Uh, basically, to carry out our research, we need not necessarily be a research officer. So, side by side, I can contribute to my ministry as an employment officer in Employment Service Division. I can study on a perception of the university graduates about self-employment or entrepreneurship. Or I can do a research on the unemployment status and what are the figures and what, is the, what are the factors leading to unemployment and what are the possible recommendations and what are the the challenges that the youth face in availing opportunities. So these are the areas I could see in my own uh, workplace. So basically I would like to, to continue that one, sir. Okay. What about Tenzi? <coughs> and I can put forward those issues to him, sir. <laughs> okay. Still you are thinking and you want to work together as yes, a team. Yes, sir. We, so as she said, we have very strong team spirit and this is our strength. Yes. Okay. We would like to end our program here and um, I would like to look forward that uh, you carry on doing some other research in future and would like to see you all again maybe with uh, some kind of uh, publication from your uh, research. So I would like to thank everyone for watching this program. Thank you so much.